Though ensuring a good diet is important for good health, there are numerous other things that one should pay attention to for all-round well-being. Of these factors, being physically active is the most important. In this module, we will focus on the importance of being physically active, understanding if there are any guidelines and how to remain physically active by following a few simple guidelines. This module also talks about two crucial topics, tobacco and alcohol, which are many a times overlooked when talking about all-round well-being. In simple terms, physical activity is any movement that we do with our bodies. According to WHO, physical activity is any bodily movement produced by skeletal muscles that requires energy expenditure. It can range from light activity like walking around in the house or workplace. Moderate activity includes a brisk morning walk or a brisk walk after dinner. While vigorous activity means taking part in sports, running or jogging or brisk swimming. To be healthy, it is important to be physically active with some combination of all three levels of activity. Of course, age and other factors influence the ratio of activities for each person. Physical activity plays an important role in reducing the risk of many health problems and can ward off coronary heart disease, type 2 diabetes, even some types of cancer. It can also improve our bone health, help us to maintain a healthy weight and also improve the overall quality of our lives. Unfortunately, many Indians sink into a sedentary lifestyle once they enter middle age or sometimes even earlier. Being sedentary means having a very low level of activity. It could be as low as when a person sits or reclines almost all through the day. Television, computers, motorized transport and the mobile phones are some of the reasons more and more people are becoming sedentary in their habits. Let's see now how much physical activity we should be doing to gain health benefits. The World Health Organization has actually given guidelines for physical activity at different ages. So let's check these guidelines a bit in detail. For children and adolescents between 5 and 17 years. For optimum benefits, this age group needs about an hour of moderate to vigorous physical activity every day. Aerobic exercises like sports and outdoor games that raise the heartbeat are ideal. Exercises that strengthen muscle and bone need to be pursued at least three times a week. Activities should ideally be a mix of running or jumping, cycling, swimming and playing other outdoor sports. For adults aged between 18 to 64 years, WHO recommends at least 150 to 300 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic physical activity or 75 to 150 minutes of vigorous intensity aerobic physical activity through the week. A combination of moderate and vigorous intensity activity is recommended. Aerobic activity should be performed in bouts of at least 10 minutes duration. Muscle strengthening activities that involve major muscles group in the body should be added to the exercise regimen or two or more days a week. For older adults 65 plus years. Seniors should have at least 150 to 300 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic physical activity or 75 to 150 minutes of vigorous intensity aerobic physical activity throughout the week. Depending on health parameters, they can follow an equivalent combination of moderate and vigorous intensity activity. Again, as in case of adults, aerobic activities should be performed in bouts of at least 10 minutes duration. Older adults with poor mobility should perform physical activity to enhance balance and to prevent falls for at least three or more days per week. When older adults cannot do the recommended amounts of physical activity due to health conditions, they should be as physically active as their abilities and conditions allow. Often the question, how can we lead an active life arises? It is easy if you know how. Here are some pointers. 
at home do some part of housework yourself instead of hiring someone else to do it every day undertake at least 15 to 20 minutes of household chores involving you to move about and bend go out for short walks before breakfast after dinner or both start with 5 to 10 minutes and walk up to 30 minutes walk to the corner store instead of driving or riding there when walking pick up the pace from leisurely to brisk when watching tv sit up instead of lying on the sofa or do a few stretching movements stand up while talking on the telephone walk the dog park farther away at the shopping mall and walk the extra distance if you have a garden at home work in the garden or mow the grass plan family outings and vacations that include physical activity like hiking backpacking swimming etc dance with someone or by yourself take dancing lessons at work work during business calls when you don't need to refer to important documents stand while talking on the phone take the stairs instead of the elevator or get off a few floors early and take the stairs the rest of the way walk while waiting at the airport or railway station participate in or start a recreation group at your company form a sports team and join in some sport activity during lunch break or after office hours schedule exercise time on your business calendar and treat it as you would treat any other important appointment get off the bus or metro a few kilometers early and walk the rest of the way to work or home walk around your building for a break during the work day or during lunch indulgence in alcohol and tobacco while talking about good health especially good heart health it is important to mention that indulgences in tobacco and alcohol are very damaging to health in india tobacco is consumed in various forms like smoking cigarettes hookah peedi chewing betel or pan pan masala gutka to name a few tobacco is linked to the onset of all four of the most common non communicable diseases cancer heart and lung diseases and diabetes in addition to the high cost of treating diseases caused by its use tobacco often kills people at the peak of their wage earning capacity badly impacting the household economy similarly excessive consumption of alcohol is also deleterious to health 1 gram of alcohol provides 7 kilo calories and these are empty calories without any nutritive value over consumption of alcohol affects the health of your heart by narrowing the arteries in the body which restrict the normal flow of blood to heart this condition predisposes one to cardiac arrest or other cardiac abnormalities therefore for good health despite having a good diet and being physically active it is equally important to abstain from tobacco and alcohol the indian dietary guidelines also say abstain from alcohol and say no to tobacco with this we come to an end of a very interesting module on lifestyle modifications for good health in this module we learnt about why it is important to be physically active and how we can meet the guidelines this module also focused on adverse health effects of indulgence in tobacco and alcohol while following steps to stay healthy one important aspect that needs to be communicated is staying motivated being consistent is very important and crucial for maintaining long term health for your heart and body motivate people to try out the tips that seem most realistic for them and once they master them then one should consider trying a couple of others